Boris, welcome. Let's start with MGM. Hi, JP guys. Morgan thinks the stock could still rally 25% from here. What do you think? Yeah, I think there's a reasonable chance to go to 50 at this point. I mean, Vegas at this point has got to be one of the most desired destinations along with Orlando. I'll be there next week, and I'm sure many Americans are going to go there for conventions and just fun. So MGM is really benefiting from this resurgence of Vegas. Uh, the only thing with it is it's, it's trading at 40 PE, so it has to execute perfectly in order for the stock to perform well. I still think it has a reasonable chance to make 50 over the next 12 months, absolutely. You're going next week. Maybe I'll go, just because you're going to be there. <laughs> All right, let's, let's talk about Hilton. Uh, good numbers, uh, but uh, lower than expected full-year outlook. What say you? Hilton is the one that I'm the most cautious about because I think there seems to be a lot of idiosyncratic risk over there. And, and in addition to that, the company is, you know, increased its dividend, is doing purchase buybacks. These are all financial engineering things, not necessarily things that you want to impress the shareholders for the operational excellence. So I am concerned about Hilton. That is one I would kind of stay away from until they show mm -hmm. a better improvement on the, um, on the operation side. All right. What about Expedia? I can't believe how much this one's dropping today. Yeah, I think that's actually an incredible opportunity at this point. I mean, it's, 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 it's getting clobbered really based upon the Hilton guidance, which is sort of throwing the baby out of the bathwater. I think Expedia actually looks very good going forward. You have to remember that the dollar is at 20-year highs. That makes Europe unbelievably cheap this summer. Demand, I think, overall is going to be very, very strong. I think we're all tired of having Zoom wine parties. Everybody wants to go out and have a real experience. Expedia should really benefit from that. My favorite way to play that is to sell the one uh, the 150 puts in, in June. That's about $11. It gives you about a 7% yield, real yield in three months, which is about 30% annualized. The worst comes to worst, you buy the stock at 139 So to me, that's a better way to play it. <laughs> I love it. Worst comes to worst, <laughs> you buy the stock. <laughs> Do the simple thing. Boris, thanks so much. Uh, we appreciate it today. Boris Schlossberg.